Welcome back to the SparkFun Inventors Kit for LabVIEW tutorial series. I'm Sam Kristoff from LabVIEW Maker Hub, and in this section, we'll learn how to read the analog voltage from a potentiometer. Let's jump into LabVIEW and get started. I'll click Help and Find Examples to bring up the LabVIEW Example Finder, then click Search and type Links. We're reading one analog voltage from a potentiometer, so we'll use the Links Analog Read 1 channel. I'll double click to open the example, and I'll close Example Finder. On the front panel, I'll set the serial port to COM3, which is our redboard, and you can see I've wired analog input 0 to the middle terminal on the potentiometer. The other two terminals are connected to ground and 5 volts. I'll leave the AI channel 0 because that's how we have our breadboard wired, and I'll click Run to run the VI. It'll take just a second for LabVIEW to connect to the breadboard, and once it does, we'll see the analog voltage displayed on our graph. As I rotate the potentiometer, the analog output changes, and we'll see that indicated on the graph on our front panel. Let's see how this code works. I'll click the stop button to stop the VI, and press Ctrl E to bring up the block diagram. We establish a connection to the breadboard, then we use the analog read one channel VI. We give it a numeric, that's the analog input channel, in this case is zero, and it outputs a double that represents an analog voltage. In this case, the breadboard can read from zero to five volts. At the end, we close the connection to the breadboard and handle any errors. Since we're using a potentiometer to generate the voltage, Let's change the graph into a gauge so we can see the angle of the potentiometer. I'll switch to the front panel and right click on the graph and choose replace, numeric, and gauge. That replaces the graph with a gauge. If we look at the block diagram now, you'll notice it looks like nothing changed because both the graph and the gauge are different visual representations of a numeric type. I'll make my gauge a little bit bigger and move it into place. Now I'll click the Run button, and once LabVIEW establishes a connection to the breadboard, you'll be able to see the analog voltage represented on the gauge. I can go down to zero and rotate all the way up to five. But you'll notice five is in the middle of our gauge, and we'd like to take advantage of the full range of the gauge. So even while the VI is running, I can adjust the range of the gauge. I'll double click on the 10 input, and change it to a five and press enter. You'll notice all the values in my gauge update. Now when I rotate my potentiometer, it takes up the full range of the gauge from zero to five. In a previous section, we used a piezo buzzer to play tones. Think about how you could use a potentiometer to change the tone of a piezo buzzer. We also used an RGB LED. You could use three potentiometers to control the red, green, and blue value of the RGB LED. In the next section, we'll measure light intensity using a photocell. Make sure to check out labviewmakerhub.com for more tutorials and projects, and ask any questions you have on the MakerHub forums at labviewmakerhub.com forums.